Hey my loves, welcome back to another video. Um this video is going to be an SVT hair. Um I oh my gosh, I love this hair. So this is a straight 24 inches, 13 by 13 by 4 um lace frontal. And this is supposed to be an HD lace, I believe, but you know. So I'm gonna let you guys continue watching the video. The video is very self-explanatory. Uh, we're just gonna go through the basics like plucking and then applying the glue and then obviously like trying to melt the lace with the elastic band and all that good stuff. So all I'm doing right now is just plucking the hair, but uh, I'm just gonna pluck as much as I can. The, the hair already came pre-plucked, which I do appreciate. I love when a, a wig comes pre-plucked because it's like less work for me, you know what I mean? So I always use my foundation for my lace instead of bleaching, which I'm I'm actually going to start bleaching my lace because I'm running out of foundation because it is too much. Always using my foundation for my lace, but I'm going to start bleaching my lace just to see like the different look of it, just to see how it looks, you know, with bleaching and I'm going to compare the two, but I always use my foundation. It's always worked the best for me, but I'm definitely going to start bleaching it bleaching my lace now so I cannot wait Yeah, the hardest part for me is cutting out my air flaps. Like, I hate that part. Like, I hate it. Like, I'd rather have someone cut it out for me than me doing it myself because I'm scared I'm going to cut my ears off one day. But um, this is the hardest part for me because it's just like you're doing it by yourself. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a lot. This part actually takes longer for me than, like, the rest of the process. This part and, and of course, securing the glue, I mean, securing the wig, but this is one of the parts that I do not like when installing a wig. Okay, so, yay. That part is over. Now, we're moving on to... My favorite part is literally the rest of the process. <laughs> so now we're moving on to the rest. Now we're just moving on, on to securing the wig, making sure it's not going anywhere whatsoever. When I usually um, install my wigs, I actually like like to leave it on for like a couple of days or so. Um, The most, maybe a week, but I like to leave it on for a couple of days and then like I will switch it out or something. Or if it's the same wig, if I really like it, it will be the same wig, but I would just like apply it differently or like do do a different style, like a different part, or, um, what's it called, put, doing my baby hair differently, if I really like the wig, I will apply it again, but if I, if it's okay, then I will just apply another wig, but, um, I like to always use a spray, and I also like to use the got to be glue, I don't like to use the bold hole glues, because they will rip out your edges, like, I'm sorry, I've used them before, and they did not work so well, for me so personally i don't like using them i just like using the spray and the got to be glue because they're easy to get off your hair as well because the bold hold glue they're so hard to get off your hair like if you literally want to lose your edges use them
So first I'll after um putting the lace on the glue. I mean after putting the <laughs> after putting the lace on, um I also like to use my head scarf and wrap it and then wait a little bit and then I like to go with my elastic band just to like just melt like just melt it extra like you know give it an extra melt because i feel like the elastic band works wonders like it's it, it's really good so i like to do that and then once i'm done with this process honestly like the wig is almost over i just like to always make my part and i like to just um make my yeah i like to make my part and i like to just like make it lay flat like i want my part to be flat and i want it to be defined so this is what i'm doing um, honestly, like, throughout the video, it's literally self-explanatory. I was just making my part using a flat comb. A flat comb. <laughs> using a hot comb. And then next thing I'm going to do is do my baby hairs. And then literally, that's it. It's so easy. It's like a simple install. Anybody can do this, honestly. If I could do it, girl, you could do it. Look at that. Look at that lay. Look at that. I just need to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, I can see now. I need to clean it up a little bit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm going to stop talking now. I know you guys are tired of my voice. But I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you guys really enjoyed the rest of the video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.
so this is the final look um the hair did come pre-plucked the only thing i had to do with the hair was of course put my foundation and then i did pluck it just a little bit a tad bit but the hair did come pre-plucked and like it's beautiful and it is soft it has no smell it is soft um the lace was easy to deal with um which i do like because i hate hair i hate frontals where the lace is kind of hard to deal with um because i just feel like it makes the install difficult you know what i mean but when the lace is easy to deal with it's like all you got to do is make sure the lace is melted and it will look very natural like this look you know what i mean but usually the lace for some companies the lace is kind of hard to deal with but anyways um overall this hair is very soft it's like it's so soft um the only issue is that it does shed but not that much and i'm pretty sure it's shedding because i did pluck it you know when you pluck hair it sheds it sheds out but other than that it is a beautiful hair But if you're going for a slick ponytail look, not ponytail, if you're going for just a middle part, slick middle part, that's it for you. Or you can just have it back like that. Hair is from SVT Hair. And I believe this is a 20 inch frontal. Hold on guys. Okay. So this is a 20 inches, 24 inches frontal. Um it's 180 density. So I mean the hair is thick, but it does feel light, which is good because it does look thick and it does feel thick, but it's lightweight, which I do love. All the links for this hair will be down in the description box below. And I hope you guys check it out and let me know what you guys think about the hair in the comment section. But this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.